Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone, and this is NBA 2K22 on 2K Sports. Hey guys, this is the final game of the regular season of NBA 2K22 in Season 6. And yes, that's right, everything is closing down here from 2021 to 22, starting from November 27th to March of the day that we all finish it off here. The last matchup will be on its way to take you from the other side. We have the Detroit, Detroit Pistons, and they will be playing up against the other team, the, the number eight seed of the team. It will be Los Angeles Clippers. Clippers are really trying to work their way around, and for other players, well, I'll tell you what. Paul George and, of course, the claw of Kawhi Leonard hasn't really gotten into a paying attention here so far. So it looks like they might be stirring it up here for the next, uh, next couple of seasons to get started for the NBA playoffs. I guess uh, you're right. We might be seeing something going on, but we will see how this all turned out for our last game. And yeah, they're going to get rested up and before they come into the playoffs, we'll see how well they can do with the other teams that they play. So here is your starting lineups for Detroit Pistons. We have his Corey Joseph, Kate Cunningham, Sadiq Bey, and Jeremy Grant with Isaiah Stewart, the center man that has already played since he has never done it before. And my take for Los Angeles Clippers, we have his rookie Jackson, doing well, Terrence Mann, Nicholas Batum, Marcus Morris Sr., and Ivica Zubox. Turn out just like that that he has ever done here before. And here are the other secondary lineups, as I will take you from the other end of the lane. Here we have the other side that turns out to be the other one. We have his Robert Covington, Coffee, Luke Kennard, Boston Jr., Hardenstein, Hood, O'Julie, and Norman Powell. That is totally currently on the injured list right down there below, so he will not be playing here at that time. The other side turned out is Olenek, F. Jackson, Diallo, Hayes, Bagley the third. Yeah, that will be another one that we can take it from here. But we are not sure who will be taking it from here. We'll find out later to take on the next spot. Let's head you over to Crypto.com Arena to start for this presentation. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And here we are, Crypto.com Arena. No name is given up for Staples Center, but that's all that changes out. And with all the game, we might be seeing how well they do. And with a lot of uh, moment out there, we were going to take a closer look here of how well they did for each season without Detroit Pistons making a win. But it might be hard to try to figure this one out. Here's a standing look here for Reggie Jackson. 17.1 for the season, 32% of 21.2 last five games. It's just that better to turn around the other way with the playoff spot. And here are the starting lineups as we are currently getting ready for our final game matchup for those teams. And no Serge Ibaka here for tonight as he's still currently out. And the key matchup is Stewart and Zubox in the center. Let's get going here on the court. And of course, I always seen that one. There might be something going on. Let's see how well they do. And Pistons wins the tip off here. As we know from last season, they already won against the Chicago Bulls playing in Detroit. But I think we might have a huge situation going on in between those guys. They are really doing well. They got a lot of work here. They've done a great job. I totally agree. I don't know what's the point with the uh, the other team, 
But once it turns out, because of those team how war they play, they already have come into that situation of itself. And it may not be hard enough to find out if there's a player that turned around the other way. Man, try to look around. Man finds more senior. The ball almost tipped away. Batum, deep three. Oh, and he made it! Batum has got his first three-pointer. Batum, well played. Almost turned out to be a Stephen Curry shot. Close call. Another shot in the angle, and that will be a rebound by Zubox. Batum, going back the other way. Here's more senior. Back to Batum. Rolling over is Man. Man hasn't really played here before. Well, we might be showing what could he possibly do for his next step. Senior. Man for three. No good. That's a missed three-pointer for a man. How the video game? Pass to Joseph. Cunningham with a shot. Off a hand, Grant. Doesn't hit that time. Jeremy Grant misses another one. Moore Sr. right to Batum. Zubox right back to Batum. Back over to Mann. Free ball, Jackson. No good. That's another rebound by Jeremy, Jack, Jeremy Grant. And Kay will take the slam. It's 4-3 run. Jeremy Grant really has gotten a better uh, situation that turned out to be the other way. But when his play turns out to be that worse, you can't let the other players get right to your attack. Man, right back to Batum. Batum, right to Man. And right over here, Moore Sr. Rebound the ball, backs up, and Moore Sr. gets the ball in. Now it comes back in with a one point lead. Chucky, looking over it. Uh, he might be finding something out, if there is. Oh, Grant slams it down. He has gone all over the court. Jeremy Grant, a second time. Marion revenges on the other side. As he makes a reverse dunk in the layup. What a play it turned out to be, man. And he really unleashed it. And with, uh, and with the other uh, player itself, that was... That was another one, as Jackson has gotten the assist. Bay for three. And he added out that one down. Three points. Three pointer turning out to be just quite sloppy. But you don't want to mess up your man's here. If this turns out your your direction any other way. Senior fades. Rolls over to Batum. Fades. Rejects it. Two box. Covers it back in there. Zubox has got a ball. Almost turned out to be a rejection here for the Pistons. Almost turned out to be loose. Pass over to Stewart. Cunningham on him. And it makes a layup. That's another one for the Pistons. The first timeout will be called by is the Clippers. Just 11 to 9 score in the first period of the game. This quarter might be very turning out to be strange out there. And we may not be seeing any of the players that wanted to get some defensive breakdown. We don't want that to happen. Making new changes on offense will be another different setup strategy for the Clippers. And my answer will be will be taking it from here. But we'll see how this all turned out. If there's another choice here to give it a run. And just like that, we may not be seeing it before, but the Clippers, we might, we have seen them. They've done a very great job here for the last playoff season. And what does it take here for yours, B Phone? Because this is just amazing. Uh, I really, I really totally agree. The last playoff game did turn out to be just like that, and without any questions, I think they are really going to love it too. Five players checked out: Olenek, Bagley, Lafer, Diallo, and Hayes are checked in, but Reggie Jackson stays on the court. 
Gennard Cafe, Covington, and Hackettston are checked in. Cafe, Hardenstein, Brink Hall move in, and I'm turning to be a first bucket for Hardenstein. His play for Hardenstein did turn out to be just like that. But I think when his momentum comes up that early, I think there might be another solution to give it a go. Diallo, right to Hayes. And reject it all. Covington got one. First turnover on Detroit. And the cut in attack. And it will be Hardenstein, his second buck of the night. And that will be assist by Kennard. Kennard's got a good look here. I think this play might be coming down in a hand to make it that easy. Jackson and Hayes. Olenek for three. Free ball inside, and it doesn't hit that one. And that ties the game up by 13. Kelly Olenek really didn't want to play with the Rockets, so he decided to transfer things over and wanted to switch it the other way. So he definitely did make the choice to go to Detroit and didn't want to go for Houston Rockets. Why? Well, because of NBA contractors, they really didn't have the chance to pick it up. Covington, wait a killer! And he's got the shot before the shot clock expired. And that was definitely going to be a rough call because that was close. I know. Totally tough, wasn't it? It is now. Checks it up. Makes a reverse layup. That turned around the other way with another tying run. Only 15 seconds to go. Jackson finds Hardenstein. Jackson back up in there. 10 seconds to go. Kennard outside. Makes it. And has the two-pointer down. Kennard with the first bucket. Five seconds left. Hayes. Trying to go deep. And it's off the rim. 17-15. Good kick. Great game for the first half. First quarter. Well, we got second quarter coming up. It'll be right. It'll be right with you after this one. And we're coming into the second quarter as this tight game comes in by with 17 to 15 score. And what's your take here for this play setup drive and for this tent for the Pistons and the Clippers? Well, the setup for this key really has done a lot that more intentional, and with all that work. They might be putting up a forceful drive, so once they have it all covered up, they really got to start taking along the way and try to work around it. So second quarter starts now, and Cafe runs out of bounds. Only on a turnover turned out to be on Clippers, and it will be Detroit ball. Looking over on the uh, other, other hand here, 5.45 remaining. Detroit has it all ready to go here for the second quarter. Covington with a good D. But now Stewart has that ball back in there, ties it up. Stewart really has gotten a lot much better here. And that was the key here for the matchup. It cannot be, they cannot be losing the ball. They really gotta step forward. Covington, hit with a drop attacker. Boston Jr., Jackson, it's no good. That's another miss here for Jackson. Meanwhile, the other Jackson still carries the ball. Hayes, really no good. And that's going to be very, very difficult challenging. Didn't want that to happen like it happened before. What a great deal here for Jackson. That's another one to go by. And first foul calls by Boston Jr. It'll be his first. And a first team foul on Clippers. Frank Jackson will be going to the free throw line to shoot two. And the different comparison between Reggie Jackson and Frank Jackson, which one do you think comes in first? It's always going to be Frank Jackson. Because that name really has turned out to be just like that. A little different color blending change for the skin. But it may not be enough. There's a chance for him, but he has definitely played. First free throw is good for Jackson. 
And now they will get a new change here with another side as uh, three players are checked out. Bay, Cunningham, and, and definitely Grant checked in. Four players checked out, but two more senior Zubats and man are checked back in. Hits that second free throw, now we'll lead it up by two. Here's Mann, only had scored two points in this game. Moore Sr., back to Mann. Mann, right over to Boston Jr. Resets it going, screen will be on Batum. We checked it away, went early, Batum. Oh, we'll carry off. But the two has got another one. Biggest change here, that was to for the LAC. And a lot of, uh, and only eight to turn to be a tying run. And he stepped out of bounds. That will be a turnover on Detroit. Number two. And for Jackson, Frank. Checked out. Corey Joseph will be checking back in. Only 4 10 remaining. It's a tie scoring run. That will be number nine in a row. But two, right to man. Man to Zubox. And man inside. And we got a foul called on the Clippers. That will be Zubox's first foul on a loose ball. The loose ball doesn't really care. They really have to try to be very careful for the loose ball foul. If it goes on you, then that's going to be a turnover to cause your team with the, with the foul. Cunningham against Zubox, only a foul is given. Stewart on Boston Jr. fades, and he missed the shot. Boston Jr. gets the rebound, 335 remaining. Man with the ball, rolling back over. And Stewart tries to pick the uh, take the turnover on the Slippers. Cunningham, he squeezes in there and he takes care of it to lead up by two. Cunningham, he really has gotten them better into it, but it might be very hard to pay for him the price. And a great bucket here for Man. That will be number two. Zubox with the assist. Zubox has all carried out, but it might be very hard for him if they wanted to pick it all or not. Joseph, back to man on man. Aliou almost went unsuccessful. Joseph on man, right to Stewart. Rejecting off at the screen, and it goes to the offensive foul. Stewart has reached up at the foul, and that will be turned over again for Detroit. Now, Boston Jr. will check out, as Luke Kennard will check in. It's a tie score. We got to see who takes the lead. Here's Zubox checking in. Man back to Batum. Zubox tries again on the top. Man. On Joseph, Kennard, inside, short. That is another miss here for the LA Clippers. Bay, trying to look forward into it. Cunningham on Kennard. Tries to leave it off with the holding man, but the screen is, doesn't take it care of it. Stewart has got it inside as they pick up the lead. It's under two minutes left here, 23-21. We're looking for another one. Moore Sr. Batum, inside, good shot. That's another one for Moore Sr. Moore Sr. really has gotten a good, good strike at the bit. He might, be, he might be carrying it along the way. Joseph, right to bay. Bay on the two. Joseph on man. And trying to pick up a steal. Didn't really work. And Stewart, he cuts it inside. They're back up by two. And the timeout will call out is the LA Clippers. The LA Clippers got to talk things over a bit. They're really going to have a, they're going to really have some heavy talk here from the, between the players to try to fix it up a bit. 
So at that moment here, we might be changing another look on off, on offense, excuse me. But that might be very hard to try to face a long gear belt. And don't forget, we have play-in tournaments coming up after the regular season. So this is the last one that we bring here before the playoff spot after the game. So it will be the Lakers versus the Pelicans. Winners of 9 and 10 will be in to take it on against the losing team of 7 through 8 of Timberwolves and the Clippers. And same thing that goes with the Hornets and Haunts along with Raptors and the Nets. Win and a loss. And then it will be battling it out for the eighth seed. That will be a lot harder to try to figure it out. But it's going to be very tough for them to try to fix these buckets off. Here are the league leaders. It will be 36.7 to take the free point percentage of this season. They're not picking up that better, and they really got to try to find them along the other way. Yeah, that's totally enough that true, and because of this season, we are not we are not quite successful here how this all turned out, but that might be very hard for him to try to pick it up. And what a great play here for Orgenstein. Orgenstein got another bucket here, that's about six points. They already got gotten to get back in there. Bagley, third. We'll try for the jumper, but he didn't able to hang on with a two-point in the range. And Kinnar, what a great pass! And that was the first assist by... I'm sorry, I thought that was going to be Hardenstein. Oh, the dunk! He lost it! Oh, what a play! And what a great save here for the Clippers! That's great! Couldn't save the dunk, and the ball went loose. This happened last time with Cavs and the Trailblazers. The Trailblazers players have lost the dunk, but this has done the same thing just like this one. What a play. I know that turned out to be just real, but it didn't really all help it. And the buzz beater really carry it is enough. 27 to 25 is your score, and if for your halftime, that will be it for the first half of the season. Thank you for Allen. Thanks so much, guys. Do a strong first half for this team. What was the mindset that gave you guys the lead? We just had to be ourselves, you know, just be ourselves, move the ball, play the unselfish, and uh, we're going to get ourselves an offense. Stay true to you, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, Ali. We'll be right back after this. After this and now, here's your recap look of the first half of Pistons and Clippers. stats here. Thanks for joining the halftime show and let's get back into the game. And we'd like to welcome you back here at the Crypto.com Arena. It will be it will be a best play that turned out to be the best one ever. It's 27 to 25, Clippers up by two. And now we're starting off for the third quarter. Coming you for the game. All filled up and ready to go. What a reverse scoop for Reggie Jackson and Zubox has gotten the assist. I like this one play. That was like much better. That turned out to be the other one. And more than meets the eye, I think it might be a true pick. Zubox with the rebound after Grant with the missing the three. More senior to Jackson. For two outside. Pass over to Morris Senior, rejected away by Grant, and he's got a block here for the first. Grant's got a great defense here for Detroit. Maybe it might be hard for him if we might see them play like that happened before. Zubox trying to fix it up 
fix a long day suggestion to find another way. He finds Batum. Batum right to Zubas. They need to get a shot. The shot's up. Rebound. Taking over. And Jackson will reset it from the top. Man, right to Morris Sr. Batum right over. And Batum. He can drive and a foul's on Bay. First five foul turned out to be on Detroit. First team foul. And the two will go to free throw line to shoot two. The drive that we're talking about with this play, the man had it on defender on this one. This really gets turned out to be a difficult situation here for Nick Batum to try to cut it in the front of paint from the outside. And that might be very hard for him to try to pick it up. And with that, even questionable honors, it may not be coming in. Batum hits the first free throw. It's 30 to 25 score. And Batum were his way that he has played before. After playing with the Hornets, he wants to give it off and try to work their run for the other team. And that might be how hard it gets there, my friend. Batum hits a second free throw. It will be nine points for Batum, and they're up ahead. Cunningham trying to cut inside. Cunningham up, and he missed again. Batum's got it. Batum has another rebound here, and Jackson will carry it along. Jackson, bounce past the man. Man will go back to Moore Sr. Zubats up, quick pass by Morris Senior. Zubats takes it another one and, uh, and another assist here for Morris Senior. I like that call. That turned out to be just like that before. What a play. Cunningham almost lost the ball and as he has it back. Joseph and Jackson. Pass to Grant. Spin move, up forward, and another miss here for Detroit. Detroit really has done too much out there, and another offensive foul turned out to be uh, the Clippers. It will be Batum's first stop. Knocked him over, and Frank Jackson will check back in. And here's one more block from the other side of mobile one, Covington. Covington's got a ball in it, and he had just rejected off. He didn't lose the uh, slam dunk, but he's got a good block. What a play for this guy. I think that might be a good one to keep it going. And for and like I just said the year before, they played really hard. Might see how this turned out. Grant fade away shot, no good. That will be more senior with the rebound. Man, right to Batum with a deep pass. More senior man. 315 left to go for the third quarter. And the two inside. Grant tough shot, but he made it through. 11 points for the two. It's 35 25. Clippers trail by 10. Joseph will have to take the small drive in the paint, and they're, and they're coming in down by 8. Jackson by man. Fakes the shot, fakes the shot, and Jackson with the assist. Jackson, really well, strong move out there. I mean, I may think he might be the best legendary player that might want to give it off from here. Man, Porter Jr., Moore Sr., back to Batum. And Batum might go right to Jackson. Jackson! Whoa! What a crazy move here, but he missed the shot. I don't know what he had done here before. Uh, I think it might be a switch back on the horn. Sewer with the rebound. Another miss by Detroit. Under two minutes left here for the third quarter, we have Bam. Jackson trying to fix it up a bit. Motion will take from here. Finding is more senior. 
Back to Morris Sr. Step up for two. No problem. He made that shot. Timeout called by Detroit. A minute and 35 to go in the third quarter. They really have hustled on the mark. They've done a great job out there. What a, what a play to keep it in tight. That might be another one to keep your eyes on. 39, 29, 27, I'm, I'm sorry. 39 to 27's your score, we'll be right back. Switching it over will be Kelly Olenek to bring it back on the other hand. And Kennard will be checking back in. Oh, a steal! And a turn around the other way, here's Kennard. Driving paint, and he's got that one in control. Man with the assist. They really got a lot of hard work out there. That's a great help. Now trying again from the top, here's Bay. Diallo on two box. Bay for three, and he had it all. Bay has the first three-pointer in the game, and they are trying to find their way to answer back. Bay's really gotten into it, but there isn't enough uh, info to try to make their way clearer than they had before. Morris Sr. to copy. With a fade, Morris Sr. Got it! Three ball! It's turned in and it's Coffey with the assist. Coffey has gotten the assist in this one, and I think that might be a very good help here to take the run. Bay, another three ball. That will turn out to be a 10 point lead, leading change, 10 point trail. Man, slams it down and he, gives, he is not giving up this point. What a stunnable performance effort. Man really has gotten a lot of uh, teaching before. And I think there might be something going on if we can see that playing again. Store, nobody looking over or swapping screens with five to shoot. Store, inside, Tucker, rebound, Olenek, no good, and they will not count the shot here for the third quarter of the game. It's 46 33, and the Clippers might have a strength here to try to go for the play in tournaments to fight their way through. Fourth quarter is the last one up. We'll be right back with you after this. And now it's time to present your State Farm Assist of the Game. For the State Farm Assist of the Game, really turned out to be just like that, but Cafe to Kennard, I think that last play in the third quarter turned out to be just like that. So it looks like Cafe could definitely do it again. Only one quarter left, starting right now, as we're ready to take the last game of the regular season for this matchup. Cunningham finding Diallo. Diallo, screen on Cunningham. Cunningham still in the corner. And a limit. Oh! Hardenstein! He denies the shot. There is no messing up with that play. What a play this turned out. Hardenstein really has got done it again. But I think that turned out to be just like that. Coffey for three. Hardenstein with the rebound. He would like to switch things up a bit and try to go on offense in the motion. Covington finds Kennard with the three. Yep. And, oh man, man, for three, yes! He really tried to fight their off, and it looks like the Clippers really wanted to, like, straighten it up a bit. That was the best run performance. Olenek on Ardenstein, and no screen has changed yet. Bay, Olenek, and foul will be on Ardenstein. First, first team foul with the first first look. And what a great play over Hardenstein. It's a great block, but now his strength has already been overweighted. That is going to be a tough one to make the foul. Kelly Olenek will go to the line to shoot two free throws. Just about 4.43 to go 
I don't see a shot for our Kelly Olenek, but we might have to see if this all turned out just like that before. We're going to have to uh, take a look at it right from here. First free throw is good. And now a new changeup will be the other hand. As two players are checked out. Bay and Grant are checked in. Jackson checking back in. And Mad will move over to the next to the next guard position. Olenek didn't get the second and lost the ball. Cunningham tried it again from the top. Olenek on Arnstein. Bay on Covington. Hayes on Jackson. Jackson tried to make the, the steal. And Joseph. Olenek, nobody around. Oh, quick back. Grant. He really stepped it up in there, but I don't think it wasn't enough to go from here. As a little missed the three ball, I was seeing, it looks like I was looking at Grant, and I just found it out that Grant just made the just made the, made the shot and tried to dunk it through, but I didn't see that play very much. It, really, it didn't bet that hard. Hardenstein rolls the layup, and that turns to be a 51-36 lead. Jackson with another assist. We're just getting closer to the end. Bay outside. Hardenstein on the cover. And Cunningham still able to try to look over. And a good steal by man. Another turnover on Detroit. Detroit is getting a little bit trouble. With his only man remaining, remains left, I think there's no one behind. Cunningham will count below, he goes with a gun. That turned out to be a steal, and nobody around. Buffet, right to Covington. Just about, just about three minutes to go here, and another steal by Cunningham. He really had gotten hacked in the gun. And going in, Grant, oh my. We got some players that are dumping in fast. And those guys could be alike. They wanted to go back in there to try to face them all. Next timeout is called by LA Clippers. Only under three minutes to go here in front of fourth quarter. And if you're all continuing for the Inanimate Insanity Invitational, I think we're going to be uh, bringing back the same thing, just like the first episode in April. Yes, that's correct. I always remembered it before. It was the. Uh, it was the best uh, show. I was also expecting here after the BFDI, the season finale, we might be doing things again to start from the beginning and then end it off here in June before we head for summer break. And I am expecting one of those uh, teams can definitely win it all and then head to the finals if they like to bring things on to show them how it's done. So let's see how well they do. In order for their game, it might be a lot harder to keep it going. Let's check out your New Balance player of the game. This one goes to Nicholas Batum. Nicholas Batum, he really has gotten a lot of great secret of this game. And his, uh, his dominant run effort really does show him really well. I think Nick Batum really has shown a lot of good strength. He's done a great job and a lot of work on this. Just about all, just about 250 left to go here. And here's man. He will pull it right back to Zubox. Zubox rolling over to Batu. Batu, right to man. With the two, and doesn't hit that one. And that's another miss here for Clippers. Cutting in for three. And he got it. They are pulling it back in on the run. They are down by eight. I really got to say that. They have to be careful here. Jackson denying the block, and that was Bay. Turning around the other way, and they really wanted to go back into strength. Rebounding is Zubox, and another miss here for Detroit. And now it's two minutes to go here for the fourth quarter. Covington. Pass back to Batum. 
The two in demand. Right over to Covington, right to the two box. Two box and foul calls on Stewart. His second personal and second team foul. A minute and 47 to play here for the fourth quarter. It will now be Ibika, Ibika Zubox to get two free throws. Zubox he really does that one off. On the interview, that might be a lot hard. And he has already played here before. But that's a lot of great effort on his, on his ability. But it might be very tough for him to keep it going. Zubox makes the first free throw. The second free throw is in for Zubox. Hastings trailing by a 10. Grant with a shot, he's got it. They're down by eight. And Grant picked it up again to hit the field goal. Grant really has a lot of encouragement. And it is, uh, it is point of time. He really has a lot on the board. You might have to be careful for him to keep it on the cover. Man, Bates, Jackson for two. That is a three ball. And that's Ricky Jackson. Five points right on the board. There you go, Ricky Jackson. He really got it in there. Grant step back with the, with the shot miss. Rebound it. Made for two. Not a chance. Not a chance at all. And he is on the street. But the time is ticking down. Covington. Right over to man. Bounce past the zoo box. Back to man. With a step in. And he missed again. Bay going back the other way. And with only 37 seconds to shoot. Grant for three. Again! They are pulling it back and are down by six. They really have to hustle it out. They need to keep an eye on him. And now Joseph has called his first foul for the personal. And one on two shots will be Reggie Jackson. 33.3 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. First free throw swallows it in. And now new changes are coming in here for Detroit Pistons. Cunningham is checked out. And Moore Sr. is checked back in for Covington. And that's two free throws in a row for Reggie Jackson. Second to last timeout on Detroit. The Clippers are really excited to go right into the play in tournaments, but they would have been so missed pleased and a, little, a lot of pleasure to salute here that they already made it to the NBA playoffs. I don't know what's the point with this one, but that's uh, going to be a little bit very hard to try to pick up the run. Well, the pickup run is not even just that, but that is. That's what everybody was thinking. And I knew one thing at a time, it may not be happening along the way, but what is your key here for players that really wants to get all things done? Well, the key is they, they really have a lot of attention skills, but they really need to try to like face the, face the defender, you remember who you're looking for, remember what you're, what you're looking at, and you don't want to look at the ball, you really want to look at the man and see who you got covered. Because if the because the player comes in to try to attack it, then, then unfortunately the man will have to like try to get back into it, and they really do not want that to happen. After timeout on Detroit, here is Stewart. Hey, on the two going in, miss a shot. Zuba gets a piece of it, and Jackson will have to carry it from the other way. 
And 21 seconds to go. Jackson, right to Zubox. Moore Sr. rolling to Jackson. Right over to the two. And they will have to hold it from here as the shot clock expires with 5.2 seconds as they will not make the shots here at that point. And just the last time up for Detroit and last substitution for those both teams. Magruder is in and Gazla checking in. Just one more change here and they will have it done for the game. I think this game turned out to be just like that. Here are the comparisons as I have called it for. There are tied four steals for each team, the Pistons and the Clippers. But the three blocks that turned out to be uh, most successful of the game was the Clippers. They really got a good look here. I think they played really hard. And for seven turnovers, it's a one point, it's a one turnover lead. It doesn't really hit, able to help from its, uh, from its own point. And we might be seeing the uh, franchise players. I, like, you know, Luka Doncic or the other players? Yeah, I, I guess so. But that's a lot of more uh, encouragement skills. But they may have it all here done and try to get right back into it. Last possession for the Pistons as they will have to try to work their way around a bit. The shot. And that's it. Clippers wins the game. It's 58 to 50. And your last game of the season is over. Regular season is done. That means we're going to move things along to the postseason game. That is correct. I always prefer to claim that those that those players of on teams, they really had it all to take from their strategy of the ending. So I guess that's that calls it for the uh, season. And I think we're ready for the playoffs and the finals. We'll take a couple minutes here break after uh, after this month has uh, passed by. So here are the three stars of the game of the players. Let's see what we have here starting with number three. Number three. It's really turned out that that might be a very uh, a certified shot. That was Cade Cunningham that turned out with 11 points, one rebound, three assists, and two steals. It really has turned out to be a breakaway chain. It really have it all. And that might be another one for Cunningham to try to get right back into the game. Let's have your take on number two, Son of Beast. Sure thing. Number two. It does, does really turn along better, but it's not the worst anyway, but uh, that's just a great play how it turned out. Number two is Terrence Mann. Terrence Mann, I should say. It's two assists, 11 points, one rebound, and one steal. Uh, I was expecting to see how he has done, but the only two dunks turned out to be him. And your take for number one, me phone, my take for number one, I think Nicholas Batum. Best part of a play in offense and defense, including the New Balance player of the game. 13 points, three rebounds, one steal, and just one turnover that turned out everything very, really bad. But that is just the way it goes. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching this game. If you haven't checked out the other uh, videos of the playlist of NBA seasons, you can check out uh, the playlist section here on my channel and make sure you subscribe to my channel because if you don't, somebody will. Yeah, that's totally true. And we're going to stick around here later. So, we're going to have tons of more here for postseasons and for the finals, of course. There might be a huge, huge favorite. It might be a lot harder than taking it from here. So I like to say thank you all for watching and then for being encouragement with all the players that worked really hard from their setup on the screen. So the regular season of season six has already been completed, but that is just the way it happens in to, to bring it on. I like to thank you for joining us who is here. And for as always, peace out everyone for as a while as the NBA 2K22 dial. Along with me and Mifa, we'll see you all the next time.
Oh, one more thing. What is it? Oh, uh, me phone. Don't let this happen. Pronounce things uh, correctly. Pronounce things correctly. Yeah, I, uh, I'll try to, like, fix it up. But I know it was talking that fast, but I don't want to take a chance. Okay, well, that might be your choice idea. Don't let this one happen. And now, let's, uh, let's just call for the night and, and close the video off. I'd like to thank you for joining, and peace out, everyone, uh, as well. Have a good night in Detroit of the Motor City and Los Angeles of Angeles Clippers right over here. Till next time, folks. See you all again. And we'll see you in the postseason. Until next time.